Hey y'all, Texas Beekeeper here. So I purchased this Vivor bottling machine because uh, the price was a whole lot cheaper than anything else out there. I think it was $360. And uh, I just wanted to show hopefully how to repair it because if you look at it, the, the scale is not registering at all. So uh, I contacted Vivor, they were very responsive and uh, sent me out a part to fix it, hopefully. And so I'm going to show that process here. Uh, so I don't have, you know, everything assembled right now because I'm going to be taking it apart. So uh, I actually probably need to remove this. Um, so uh, hang tight and I'll get into it and we'll see if this works. Okay, so here's the box that came today. Uh, we'll take a look and see what's in here. So this is the replacement board that uh, they're saying should fix the, uh, the issue. So let's wrap this back up and set it aside. And the only thing I have to do is remove this top cover and pardon the hand screwdriver I'm not a big fan of using power tools on uh, parts that I don't have any idea what I'm dealing with if it's small sheet metal you know I don't, definitely don't, so I don't know yet what these are going into, so we're going to do it by hand for right now anyways. Try to keep my arm out of the way, sorry about that. Okay, I should have all these out now. I ended up getting a screwdriver that fits that head better, the one that they included was not so good. Oop, there's one more in the front here. Yeah, the one they included was not too good. And uh, let's see here. There we go. So we were being careful here. Let me get this case out of the way. So, we're going to remove that board and swap it out with the other one. It got some, uh, looks like some glue on these, which is good. It keeps them from popping out. So, I'll probably get the heat gun. might be the problem right there this guy was not in well that could be the problem let's uh let's put that back and if so then we'll have a spare board probably for next time but uh so for now we'll pretend that for the video's sake if anybody else actually had a board problem which i may still so we will pretend like we swapped out every one of these uh screws and and replace the replace the board and uh, what I'm gonna do now is 
probably put in a few of these screws just to make sure and then uh, we'll go from there and I will say to Devor that uh, you know they they uh, were pretty quick to respond actually they have 24 7 customer service so they were very quick to respond and uh, the only downside was unfortunately that part was coming uh, probably from China so it did have to ship from there which that took I don't know I don't want to say a week but it may have been a week um, I could look and, and see exactly when I sent stuff in but uh, it wasn't too bad um, there we go so we're gonna do that we just have the back and a middle screw here oh, let's see if that might be all that it was So, I'm going to put that plate back in. This is just a spacer. And from what I could tell, the best I could tell is these are all the same. These are all the same uh, unit. They're just, you know, they may be branded for different places or or whatnot but uh, you know if that were the case then me I thought and I could buy almost two of these or more for the price of one uh, so yeah I was really uh, really excited to, to see their price yeah, so this will be the this will be the test here. There we go. So that's all it was. So uh, there we go. We didn't even have to put the part out. Out. It was just a loose a loose connection. Uh, so all is good. Um, but you know, so had it actually have been something wrong with the board. It would have just been a matter of swapping out that board for this one. And I imagine everything would have been just fine as well. So pretty happy with that. Um, not a not a bad deal. Uh, hopefully I'll get to keep that board and that'll give me a spare for if something does ever go wrong. So uh, I'm excited to use this now. Um, Looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good unit. And like I said, it, it seems to be the same as a lot of the other ones out there. you got the four program modes. They look a little different color-wise, but the buttons are the same. M1, M2, M3. And I've got mine uh, programmed for different sizes. So I think this is probably my 4-ounce, 8-ounce, 16 and 24 if I'm not not mistaken uh, that I've already already set this up so yeah I was glad I didn't have to send that in because I already spent some time setting everything up before I even noticed that the scale because you know when you don't own something you don't know if it's supposed to register when you're not even ready to fill you don't get the get the feel for things until you actually sit down and use them uh, but yeah, pretty pretty excited now. That's uh, that's all it was. That's pretty awesome. So, anyways, uh, thank y'all for watching. Oh, and I do so I do have the other Vivor, the the pneumatic bottle fill, filler with the hopper on top, and really have been liking that one. If anybody's interested in either one of these, um, that one the the downside to that one, I guess, is your you're not able to program presets 
and you know the setup this one you can kind of dial it in first and it has the built-in scale which is nice so you should have a lot less frustration i think setting it up where the other one you're kind of just guessing it's got a crank you uh you have some limit switches and you're moving those limit switches with the uh hand crank to kind of tell it where to stop blindly uh, so you don't know what that means uh, as you're cranking you're just picking an area and so then you kind of need a bottle or a container you could use a bowl and then just spatula it back in but you need a container that's going to be able to hold all of that honey uh, that you're going to dispense out so you would just put the put the bowl on a scale tear it and then dispense your honey and weigh it and then adjust the crank at you know as you need to uh, so that one's a little bit longer to set up per each bottle, I assume. Again, I haven't even used this uh, because the scale wasn't working. But I, you know, assume that since you can preset, this one's going to be just a, a really slight um, calibration to get it to know how to cut off. So you're going to be like within a very little bit of error there. Uh, but the other one, I love it, was the second year we used it. Um, so that one you are pouring into a hopper and so I guess the downside also would be you need to use up the whole hopper um, before you switch to another because trying to pour that remaining honey into another pot would be pretty difficult because the hopper comes down and has a tri-clamp that mounts to the to the unit so there's really no getting that honey out of there other than dispensing it into bottles where with this one it's just a matter of pulling the hose out of where you have been taken and putting it in another so that's another reason we wanted to get this because uh, we do a, several different types of bottlings we do some honey flights where we bottle different areas so different we have apiaries in different uh, cities or counties and uh, actually each one's in a different county too county and city so for those, it, you know, it's going to be nice to be able to just pull the hose, stick it in a bucket, you know, run run a few bottles through that just get bottled as plain uh, because there could be a slight mix there. And then after it's been running, then go ahead and bottle as the next, next apiary location. So that's going to be exciting. I think this is going to help speed up things, make it a little bit less uh, hectic come bottling time, which the other, the pneumatic bottle filler really has helped a lot too. That thing's amazing at just how accurate it is and how quickly you can bottle some bottles once it's set up. Uh, that's the thing is switching to another size. It's not hard. It just, you know, you've got to dispense probably three or four or five bottles to dial it in. Uh, but then once that's done, it's, it's ready to go. So there we go. That's all I got for now. Thank you all for watching and uh, looking forward to using this. Uh, Comment below with what you're using to fill honey bottles. Thank you all for watching.